Hi there, I'm Joshua Finn from JNH Aerospace and we are out here with a piece of pure magic that I have wanted since I was 12 years old. This is a Keelcraft Gypsy. Look at it. Built from the Ripmax kit provided to us to do a review. It's wonderful. Uh, I did not use their propeller, I used mine. Separate video in the description below, or yeah, in the description below telling how to make a giant 17 inch carved propeller. So, she's balanced right uh, right up here, which is part of the plan. So we're giving it at first the, the Gypsy, its first test flight. Doesn't even have a dethermalizer on it yet, because I'm impatient. So, uh, yeah, here we go, into the wind. Actually, a shade nose heavy, I'm surprised. Try that one more time. Yep, tiny bit nose heavy. Surprising. We have an incidence adjustment screw right here that I've unscrewed a little bit so that we can add some up trim. So you see, there's a little bit of a gap there, which is what you want. Oh, look at that. Let's see that again. Actually, a little bit nose heavy that time. We're gonna power it up though. All right, just cranked in a few turns here. We'll point it off this way. Wow, look at that. Ungraceful landing. My plane went off camera there, so we'll show you the same thing again. And now it's going to go in a tree. I'm really rough on my planes, it's sad. Pretty awesome. Hey. With the, uh... CG move further back, this flies considerably better. Hey. How my airplane? Turning you stupid thing. There we go. Make sure it doesn't want to fall down with its wings. Don't want to land. Oh, we gotta work on that part. Oh, seriously, quit vibrating. And now it's gonna go find a tree to bounce off of. Now it's going to find my house to bounce off of. <laughs> okay, so what we've got here is um, I have added in, I don't know if you can even tell, but I've twisted in some more right rudder to try to get the turn going a little better. Uh, to get the trim, um, or to get the, the glide, not glide trim, um, CG correct. Um, let's see here. You can see I've taken off most of the nose weight. So the airplane balance is further back. 
and so as a result uh, flies better like that because we've been stalling under power a little bit I have a chunk of junk set in there to give me a little bit of down thrust to eliminate stalling under power all right let's see how this goes very strong climb and this is on hand line still. Yeah, definitely I need to tweak that aspect of things. Really gets up there. I'm going to be picking this out of a tree, unfortunately. Yeah. This will be a fun retrieve. Not... See y'all later. I hate when that happens. Yeah, up there a bit. Of course, we're down in a, a gully. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't do this in a video at the same time, but... Yeah, we'll come back in a minute. And we're back. Uh, it looks like it's all tore up in reality. All that actually happened is the rudder fell out up there, and that kind of freezed the stab because the rudder was wrapped around it. But we're back home safe and sound. I do believe we are past the point of what can be responsibly done here at the house. So any further testing is going to have to be on a, on a bigger field because... Yeah, this is, uh, this bird has, uh, flew in the coop one too many times. So, uh, I mean, that flight was well over a minute. Um, so, anyway, uh, yeah, sweet airplane. I love it. It has not disappointed. It is actually, it has exceeded my expectations. Um, because I'm still on hand winds. Have yet to stretch wind it. Still doesn't have a dethermalizer. All that jazz. So, uh, yeah, I like it. Alright, folks, we are out here with the Keelcraft Gypsy. Look around. This is the 2,200 acre Simpson Agriculture Research Center at Clemson University. The thing about it is, the, there, half of this you can't even see. Yeah. Um, the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains are visible, just visible under those power lines way off in the distance. Beautiful place. Uh, so this is the kind of field where you fly a big wake field. We've been flying my George Perryman He-Man wake field. Uh, finally got it trimmed out. So now we're going to fly this rascal. Uh, it's mostly trimmed out. Got the dethermalizer on it now. Uh, see the link in the description for the video on that. So uh, we're going to wind her up and let her go. So come over here and we'll let me suck her up. Josiah, say hi to the camera. Howdy. This is Josiah Hill. He's a close family friend. Brother, whatever we want to call you. Uh, adopted. Yep. Yeah, they're <laughs> adopted. And uh, he was on the uh, test and retrieval crew for the Spruce Goose. Uh, on this field. That was so awesome. Uh, right, almost exactly 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't remember the exact date, but it's very close. I know it was June of 2010, and this is June of 2020. I should be using a blast tube, but I'm not. Especially since this one's short enough, I can. But, oh well. How many turns are you going to put on this one? I'm not counting. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going for... Uh, that looks about right. Yeah. That looks and feels about right. Um, enough to make it go up fast. This one will go up much faster than the Perryman because it's designed for a short, quick climb instead of the long climb. Right.
show you how that first year that we were married, we came out here many a nights and would fly whatever, mainly I flew Phantom Flash at the time and some other things. So uh, late after dark. So late after dark and so we would wind them up as hard as they, we could and let them go and we could. so we would get, I don't know, some nights it was between two, three minutes. Sometimes if it was a good night, we got four. Yeah, we were doing over three and a half minutes in dinner. Yeah. No thermals and nothing. So we would. That's an attractive plane. Like yeah. It. it is. Uh, designed in 1946. And, uh. Of course, that one was designed in 1952. Okay. Um, that one was a product of a rules change. <laughs> That's why it looks crazy. All right, so now for the hike. I was getting ready. I'll show you guys the rest of it. So this is, we got up here at the top of the hill. As you can see, the car's down there. So you'll see the rest of it. Just a huge field that we used to, he, Came and flew at all during college, and then our first year of marriage, we would come up here and fly. All right, so uh, what you saw there was uh, me forgetting something, the uh, shim for down thrust. And that's why I was stalling all over the place under power. I did notice a little bit of a glide stall, so I stuck a couple of shims under the wing trailing edge. I don't want to slide the CG um, back forward. I don't think that's a productive thing. So uh, now we will wind her up and uh, rinse and repeat.
Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.